Welcome back everybody, welcome if you are new back to the World of Outlaws Dirt Racing career mode. Uh, we are in the street stocks. I completely forgot. Uh, somebody reminded me like an episode or so ago, but I already recorded the first episode of the street stocks to assign my personnel to the street stock. I completely forgot about that. That's on me. So like the parts could have been 10% cheaper on everything we got, but it is what it is. We uh, just bought more expensive parts at that point. So, oh well. But we got them now. I changed my driver's suit look as well so it matches the car more. I'll do that whenever uh, I change the paint scheme up and stuff. But uh, we are going on to Sterling County, Lima Land, and Fairbury for this one because it's a showcase. The next episode will have four races in it. But with it being only a 10 race uh, season, it's kind of short. But uh, it's the full length for it. But Sterling County, I remember from the last game, super banked. And I feel like I really cut the inside. Or you can get that really far outside the work if you can get the like momentum around the outside. Lima Land, we already know. Fairbury, have we ran Fairbury this, this year? Yeah, we ran Fairbury first race of the year. We got 11th. We got 11th, 11th, and 14th so far. We haven't been able to do any upgrades to the car because we're waiting on getting the money for the suspension, but that's a lot of money. So we're going to have to just sit here, build up some money, and see what we could do. So let's get on the Sterling County and see how we could do. All right, we kind of did really well. Got the practice time by almost four to five tenths there. So we got a 307. That's a top 10 goal, a 530. We could definitely hit a 530. I was like pretty consistent hitting the fours. The three was like one lap, but other than that, I was actually able to hit the, the fours pretty consistently. Changed the uh, gear a little bit to try to get more RPMs out of it the entire time. Kind of run the slider line at this track. I remember this from the last game. It definitely was fastest. I was like a second slower trying to run the outside right now for me. So the bottom lane is definitely where it's at for me right now. If I could hit the bottom a little bit better, not necessarily like I don't feel like I'm getting too sideways like that. That's what I mean. Like really get low on it. You can almost cut all the way inside there. Got a 360. Getting seventh place overall. Not too bad. Starting second in heat number three. We got uh, Schneen Cloth out there on pole. Kylie second. Mikey third. Kylie's won, I think, two of the three races. I want to say she's first in the points. Killing it. But we're starting outside pole to Mikey here. See what we can do. As long as we can finish top two here, we'll go to the qualifying dash. Got a good run there. It will stay in front of Barnes. I need to kind of force Mikey at the track if we can, potentially. But he is kind of too quick for us right now. That's a good one and two. Yeah, I caught up a lot to him there. That's my thing. I need to, like, get my front tires under this white line. It is fast down there. This place is, like, so banked, it's crazy trying to get this bottom to work. I feel like I might be chipping out a little bit too much at points, but it's all right. I feel like it'll be just fine for the uh, feature race. Kind of keeping intact with Mikey here too, which is pretty nice. The track seems to be like slicking it off a little bit because our times are like a few tenths off in this heat race compared to what they were in uh, practice and qualifying. Got a five there. That was a really good entry to turn one. I didn't throw it in super sideways. I'm getting the wall on the straightaway, though, which is slowing me down. Letting off a quick second for the entry there. Trying to keep it a little straight. Oh, I'm almost spinning Mikey there. He slowed up so much in the exit turn, too. This is the final lap. Can we get him in the final corner? No, we can't. But, hey, we stuck right with him. That's actually... That's actually real impressive for us. I'm happy about that. Starting seventh in the qualifying dash. We'll see if we can try to move up from there. As long as we can uh, be in the qualifying dash consistently, I'll feel good about ourselves for this first season. We'll see if we could do anything here in the qualifying dash, though. Try to get by Cox up here. Oh, I'm right rearing the hell out of uh, Chase Jones. I should have let off the gas at some point because I was just spinning my tires, but I did not. I just I just immediately held the throttle as I was right rearing dude up into the, <laughs> up into the heavens up there. He is three seconds back now. I feel so bad. I really screwed him over, but you know what? That happens. We're up to six, though. We'll see if we can try to catch a Cam Jurens up here. Potentially. They're all running that super high line. They're going to get a huge run down the straightaway compared to me, but I can catch up so much in the corner. And if I can keep my car pretty straight on the exit, we'll be good to go. We're in a 12-8, which isn't terrible, but not great, honestly. I feel like the track may be changing enough. Might be able to make this middle work a little bit more. 
Because I can't make the top work a super ton. That was a 13 one. See, I just feel like the middle and stuff just does not work out as well for me. Jordan's getting slowed up there by Cox a little. He threw like a slider on him, got right in front of him. See, 12 9 there. That was a terrible entry. I went in too early. A way too shallow on entry. Slid up early. I need to stop hitting the wall in the straightaways though. It just like straightens me out badly. But we'll be going on into the A main in sixth. I can't be mad about that. Like, we haven't finished top 10 yet this season, but yet we're starting sixth in this race. So that is pretty good for us. I will take that all day right now. Who's on pole? Mikey's on pole, then Schneencloth, then Kylie and Cox in the top four. Jurin starting fifth inside of us. Us starting on the outside, not necessarily where I want to be. Let's not run over Ricky first quarter. Oh, I'm hitting Ricky right in the ass. And we're getting by him. Tommy Bailey up in front of us. They weren't even in the uh, qualifying dash, were they? Or were they the one that started eighth and I didn't even notice? I think Tommy, Tommy Bailey may have started eighth there. Finished seventh. Cox giving us a bump. Getting bumped by him just a slight bit. Trying to slide him here, but we're going to be three wide on the exit of turn two. How many laps we have? 15. Ten, ten more tear off, so I need to manage that a little bit. Still sitting seventh though, which I'm not mad about. We got Chase Jones chasing us down after I right reared him at the start of the qualifying dash. Bailey's going up the track now for me. I can't get unattached from him. He like ran like a little bit above the middle, but we were three wide. It was like way too tight there for us. Still got Chase on our inside. Trying to run like a slider up to the top and keep some sort of momentum if we can. These cars are very sensitive with like tapping the wall and stuff. Like we already did 94% arrow. That front end just got messed up a little bit there too, which was unfortunate from Chase like just completely stopping there. Slide it up on them. We're battling hard here for six though. We're trying our best. Trying to keep it clean if we can. See, they get that low side. I just can't get that high side to roll like I want. I feel like there's so much grip up there and then I like lose the grip and just get up in the wall. Yeah, oh my god, we have 88% arrow left. That's unfortunate. Really destroying this car right now. Getting Ned Hill up in front of us as well now. We're in ninth. I really just gotta stick to the low line or that middle at the most. I can't run super high. Dang it, wall. As soon as I went to go turn, I whipped the rear end into the wall a little bit. Six laps to go, we got six more tear offs. Don't really get too many cautions in the street stocks as well, which I like. I like some every now and then. I might need to turn up their aggression for the uh, street stocks just so they can like get into each other a little bit more and stuff like that. Oh, Bailey, real slow on the exit there off turn two. Gonna slide Bailey up the track. They do a nice cross over there. They, they saw that and anticipated it. Trying not to wreck Bailey here. Trying to stay on their inside though. Slide them a little bit. Nope, they stay to our outside. Three laps to go. When I'm on the inside of somebody, like my angle into the corner is so bad. It is terrible. That was a good turn. Three there. Two laps to go. Can we get Bailey here? We should have ninth locked down regardless. It just depends if we can get by Bailey or not. They got lap cars on their outside, which could be messing them up a slight bit. Oh, I'm getting into the lap car. Whoops. That messed me up quite a bit on the straightaway. I was going to try to run the middle, and then I just tapped Diaz in the left rear a little. But we're going to come home ninth. I will take that. It's not a bad day for us. First top 10 for our street stock seasons, which has been nice. But I had a pretty solid race. That was a lot of fun. Looks like Schneencloth actually gets the win. Kylie getting second. Mikey third. Where's that gonna put us in the points? Cause I know we were like 12th in points, I wanna say. I couldn't quite remember. We're top 10 in points now. We got up to 10th in points. We're two ahead of Samantha. I wanna try to beat Cox in the season. That would be nice. That doesn't sound right. But we're 26 behind them. Kylie's got two wins on the year. Schneencloth gets there first, but Kylie is running away with it already. Already with what, a 22 point lead over uh, Mikey. But Mikey does not have a win on the season. I think somebody random, yeah, Adam ended up winning the showcase. So they don't run the full season. So don't gotta worry about them too much. But top 10 for Sterling County, I'll take that. And then we're also gonna get 
about like what four thousand dollars here maybe something like that a little bit over four thousand not too terrible that's gonna put us up to almost nineteen thousand dollars we have so many skill points it's crazy and now we need to repair the car because everything's getting pretty low but we're going on to lima land next which lima land ended up being our best micro sprint uh track but i don't think we, we haven't ran lima land yet this season no we haven't ran lima, lima land yet i know we go fairberry twice and kokomo twice for sure and that's the only ones we double up on so we're not gonna get too many laps here at lima land to 18 lap uh main event so we'll see if we can make that out of the heat race and try to go to the qualifying dash like we did in the last race but uh we're top Top 10 in points trying to catch jeremy cross and then ricky cox in points and then chase is also tied with cox there in points uh kylie all the way up in first but we'll get on to lima land here five thousand dollars to win hopefully we can try to compete for like a top five stay in the top 10 area that'd be nice for our current sponsor bonus because we have top 10 incentives so that's pretty nice all right barely got this practice time i almost got it by a 10th but it took me a long time to get it and i only hit it once but a 13.5 we're probably not going to hit that here for qualifying because it is a fine line i'm running on the bottom and i remember this from the last game you can like skirt your way over the tires on the inside the slightest bit but if you hit it wrong you could go flipping but I, I distinctly remember flipping at this track on one of these tires and stuff. Oh, there's a tire. Yep, hit it a little bit, but it's okay. That was not too bad. You can kind of get over them and be not affected by it for the most part. Ran a nine there. That's pretty much what I've been running as a nine pretty consistently. Oh, I straightened out terribly on the exit of that. This lap's not going to be any faster. So I really tried just holding that line and I straightened out really bad. So that's going to be a little bit slow in the second lap. Puts us 19th, starting fifth in heat number three, which top five make it from the heats. But don't necessarily want to be this far back, but it is what it is. We're going to try to move up if we can. We got to try to pass this 83. We got Ricky up in the front of our heat. Or he's up in second, but he's towards the front of our heat regardless. Try to get by Erickson here if we can. Eric Erickson? Why would you have Eric in your name twice? <laughs> My guy. That's rough. We're three wide here for fourth and third. I got, like, contacted with him very awkwardly. But, like, the middle and top just is not fast for me here in the street stocks. My car just loves the bottom. I cannot make the top and middle work for me. Schneemcloth, I believe, is out front. We were up in the fourth for a second. We had a chance at third because we were three wide, but I need to try to get under Eric Erickson here. If I can get a good exit like that consistently, might be able to get under them for a chance at it. Under them here, try to make them go up. They go up. Running that middle slide up on them. That'll give us four positions for the start of the A-man, which would be huge. Now I just need to not hit one of these tires and really go astray. He's really got to hold this inside line. We got one lap left here. Let's see if we can try to catch Billy Green at all. Seems like when they run that outside, we can kind of catch him a little bit. That was a really good inside because there's an invisible wall down there you could hit as well, right where those cones are. And I was very close to those cones. So we were catching Billy Green a little bit too. So that's actually pretty encouraging for us. I'm actually really happy about that. Starting 15th. We'll see if we can try to work our way towards the top 10 in this one, which would be nice. I just don't know if we can. It will be tough to try to get up to a top five, I feel like. Who's out front? Mikey's third, Chase is second. Who's in first? Where's Kylie at? I don't even, oh, they are in fifth. Okay, I was like, that was a different looking car. It looked like more tealish than green to me. But I'm like, she is killing it in the points and I didn't see her, but she was fifth. See, we can try to chase down Tommy Richardson here. We only have 15 tear offs, kind of use them a little sparingly in the beginning. Oh, that was a nice slider up into the right in front of him in the 13th. We got up in the 14th pretty much immediately, which was nice off the start. Just because the bottom is helpful for us. Samantha Bell right in front of us on the bottom, who we're battling in the points pretty tightly. This is for a top 10 spot. Went in way too shallow, had to really get off of it. Dragged the brake a little bit, up to 11th though. We got one spot out of the three there that we did cross. Oh, got the inside barrier and that tire, which definitely hurt. Didn't hurt our radiator, at least. That's the one thing I was worried about hitting that inside uh, 
invisible wall because that will hurt your engine and uh, radiator to really slow you down. You can get a little bit of aero damage and it will slow you down, but not as bad as your radiator engine, so I'd much rather that. Oh yeah, I do want to turn, oh, I straightened out too bad. That was terrible. I hit that right side hard as hell. Um, I really want to turn up the aggression on these AIs with like everything, just their driving aggression. So I'll do that after this race and we might see some more aggression out at Kokomo, which would be nice. I feel like we're a little bit faster than Samantha Bell right here. Oh, hit the invisible barrier again. Stop doing that. All right, I'm down to 82. I don't know what point like the arrow starts getting really bad at like percentage wise, but it can't be uh, too much more and it's going to be really bad. I don't know if hitting the tires will affect your arrow percentage or not, but I know it will straighten you out. You'll probably go hit a wall that will affect it. Samantha got by Jesse right there. I'm gonna try to follow her on by him. He sticks on that outside lane. Samantha just running this inside line like I am, trying to get under them as we're getting by Jesse, because Jesse is ripping the outside. I slid up to the middle there on entry because I was stuck with Jesse a little bit. Let me see if I can make like right where this grip is. No, I am just sliding. It does not want to grip at all. The bottom is definitely the, the best for me. Maybe once we get a little bit better of an engine or some other parts, I don't know. But right now it's just bottom for me at this track in the street stocks. Like micro sprints and these drive completely different. Seven laps left. Like just, oh, there's the tire, and we're flipping. That is what I was expecting at some point. Hitting that tire and going flipping, and that probably affected our arrow pretty a pretty good amount. <laughs> Fell all the way back to 13th. We honestly didn't fall that far. 17th is a lap down, so we can't fall too far at least. We qualified 19th, so anything's really a gain at this point. What is our damage? 76, and everywhere around the car is damage. Luckily, the radiator and engine are not damaged, but we're still going to be edging these tires down here. Going just right over them, giving them a buzz cut. I hit that cone. I did not know that was possible. I thought I hit that invisible barrier before I hit that cone, so I honestly did not know that was a thing. Hopefully I can get a good picture of uh, that flip, and that will be the thumbnail for sure. you probably already seen the click on this video. Cause I definitely have flipped over at this track before, but like nose, like tail over nose, like doing a front flip because I've hit that and it like just completely somersaulted me for some reason. But right there, it just completely did a barrel roll, which is wild. Somehow we're still almost competing for the top 10 spot with Billy Green, which is wild to me. Jeremy Cross is out in the lead, it looks like, on the track map, the number one car. I really want to get in front of Billy Green here for this 10th place. Final lap here, gonna really try to send it. Get in front of Billy if we can. I'm just gonna straight line up the track, trying to get in front of him. Rubbin's racing and we get 11, dang it. I was really trying to like force him up towards the wall and just barely get up in front of him, but man, that was rough. So, looks like Ricky's gonna get seven, Samantha Bell eighth, Kylie still gets second out of it, Mikey Thompson third, Jeremy in first. That's a pretty solid race for us. We're gonna lose, I think we're gonna lose our 10th place to Samantha and I'm not sure who else was right around us. That's probably gonna damage our car quite a bit also, getting all that damage on the arrow, probably for the chassis and suspension, I would imagine. We fall to 11 points, not terrible. Four points behind Samantha now. Jeremy getting that win definitely jumped us if he wasn't already ahead of us. And uh, Kylie's still up ahead by, what is that, 24 points? So slightly uh, gapping Mikey bit by bit each race. So that's pretty solid. We're gonna get almost, what, like four, or $5,000 almost, close to? Yeah, 4700 not too terrible. At least we're starting to slowly make more and more money. That's going to put us up to $21,000. Not terrible. That does damage our car quite a bit, but it is what it is. I kind of expect that. So going on to the showcase here at Kokomo. Oh, no, Fairbury it is. We ran Kokomo at the beginning of this episode. Oh, no. I'm thinking Kokomo because that we run that twice. Uh, Kokomo was a showcase race in the last one. Uh, that was the first episode, so that's what it is. Fairbury, we've already ran. We got 11th, but with the showcase, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. So, going to need to lock in, make the showcase, and do the best we can here. Uh, what did we get at uh, Kokomo? 14th in the showcase? That's not terrible. So, I'm hoping to get like 15th to 10th, something like that. That'd be pretty nice. And might be able to get a new sponsor with this showcase as well. 
All right, I've got my practice time as close as I could to without without getting it pretty much. We hit a 299. We needed a 281, but I cannot hit it for the life of me. But that's going to hurt us a lot for qualifying. 13-0 here for qualifying. That is rough, but I hit a 299, which I'm really happy with because that was like almost a tenth faster than we were at the beginning of the season here. So I was happy with the improvement nonetheless because we didn't really have any upgrades in the car. Just more experience driving the car and messing with a little bit in the setup trying to see if we can get anything out of it and we found a little bit just some of the weights and stuff like that like the cross weight left and right and then the tire stagger 283 i literally think that was our practice goal wasn't it or was it 281 like did i really almost hit it there in qualifying that's wild trying not to get that inverted berm very much 510 on the second lap not great but that's gonna put us 20th that's not terrible for a showcase honestly it's gonna start us uh, outside where we need to be. We're starting fourth here in heat two. Heat two is gonna be rough because uh, fast guys are in this. Don't know who the 81 CI is under us. Vanden Top. Okay, it's one of the Vanden Tops. It's Carson. Try to get down to the bottom early. Block that off from Eric Erickson. Don't need to be behind him again. Top three automatically move on to the showcase. Oh boy, Te uh, Tommy is messing up big time. Vanden Top goes to the high side. We might be able to take advantage of him. I'm gonna try to slide him in front of Vanden Top here. Get back down in front of Bailey if we can. Getting tapped a little bit. I did up their like aggressiveness and their stability and everything, consistency. So maybe they'll mess up more and when they hit each other they might spin out a little bit more or they will be more aggressive with each other in general so might see some wrecks in this or the feature stuff like that we'll see but we got third right now vanden top is so far back i wish i could stop getting dirt in the worst spots as i said vanden top so far back goes to the bottom gets to my bumper immediately and scared me off of bailey because i was trying to run defensive there so I didn't run my faster line because I did not want them to have any free air and uh, just go flying under us. They're running that top side though. We can pull away when they're running that top side, I know. He goes back down to the bottom as he gets close though. Able to get away on the exit. This is final lap too. I did not realize that. Stay low, stay low. I almost went way too high and sold that, but we're going to put ourselves in the feature in Heat 2, which is huge. That's going to put us 14th for the A-Main. That is not too bad. And we should get a new sponsor, I think, with the uh, top 25. Uh, we'll get 4 max, and the top 30 was the Brown Pasture. So either way, we're getting a new sponsor that will probably pay out a little bit more, I would imagine. And the initial payout will be nice too, like when you the signing bonus. See if we can try and cut underneath immediately here on Jeremy Cross. He just won that that last race, I think it was, and now he's starting back here in 13th here at, uh, at Kokomo. Adam on the outside of us, who won the first showcase at Kokomo. He is struggling a little bit. Got Cam Jurens, not the better one. There's a different Jurens that is better. Probably further up in the field. We're already up to 11th though, which is beautiful. As long as we can keep holding this in inside, it'd be really nice. Jesse right in 10th. Schneenkloth just in front in 9th. And Kylie's all the way back here in 8th. That's kind of shocking. Because they have been top 2 or 3 every race, I think. Oh, Schneenkloth getting hit a little bit there by... Who is that? Bailey? I think that's Tommy Bailey. They're hitting. They save it though. But they do, they do hit, so I like to see that. I like to see the aggressiveness. At least we're seeing them hit a little bit. Because the micro sprints, they were wrecking like left and right. It was a little too aggressive. But it was also just because open wheel, they go flipping and all that. So it was more understandable there. But these things got fenders. We can hit each other a little bit. And I like to see it. I like to see the aggressiveness they have. Tommy Bailey pulling away from Schneenkloth and them. Schneenkloth throws a slider on Kylie. We're sitting here trying to chase down Jesse Wright. They both run up high in front of us. Schneenkloth and Kylie. Kylie goes to the low side, trying to throw the slider back. Not able to get it there on the exit of turn two. They all funnel down to the bottom to turn three. As I'm almost getting dove on by Adam, which I'm shocked that he's this far back after winning Kokomo. I would think he's like a top five car every uh, showcase. That's actually pretty shocking. We're only on lap eight so far of 24. Pretty long showcase race here, but like to see it. Bear Bear is a pretty big one. 
Eldora to finish out the season is going to be a big, big race, too. 24 laps there is going to be a long one, and that's probably going to be like more just full throttle, finding your lane and trying to keep the car somewhat straight. Oh, I almost got up in front of right there. If I knew I had him a little bit more on the exit, I would have pulled up faster, but I did not know I had him as well as we did. Because once he went to that top side, I couldn't quite see him anymore, and we did clear him pretty well, which is nice. 14 laps to go here. I just need to be more consistent hitting this bottom. I want to try to get that top 10 for the sponsor bonus. Like just the incentives on that. It's like 280 something dollars, which not terrible, not, not great, but at least it's better than nothing. Got to try to keep the sponsors happy out here, doing what we can. We signed a contract for top 10. We've only gotten one out of two so far. We had the five race contract. I kind of wish you could get some like longer contract uh, sponsors and stuff. That would be nice. Kind of make it like, I don't know how realistic it would be, honestly, because I don't know sponsorships in real life and stuff, how long they like sign something for, for how many races or how many months, stuff like that. I have zero idea. But it would be cool to be able to sign them for like a full season or something like that, which in a way you do, but you, oh, they're wrecking. Is that going to be a caution? That is going to be a caution. Mikey, and who is that on the outside? I don't know who the other one is, but Mikey and somebody spun out. I might have been a lap car, honestly. Mikey, Mikey might have gotten up into a lap car, so we do see a yellow here in the street stock showcase. Love to see it. Makes it a little bit more interesting. Bundles us up once again here for the last, like, eight, nine laps here. Pretty cool. Gives us a chance to try and get some spots back here off the start. Everybody gets bunched back together. Still trying to get by Jesse right here. Jeremy Cross getting up into 12th behind us. Getting in front of Adam. Adam is definitely struggling in this one compared to Kokomo. They are three wide in front of us. I'm going to try and push right up a little bit. Oh, I don't even have to. I just get under all three of them. This is for like seventh place. That is wild. We hooked that inside in turn one and two beautifully. And we were like fully up in the seventh there. Trying to get in front of Tommy Bailey. He rips that middle line really well though. Not able to get in front of Tommy. Fell, falling back to eighth a little bit, but that one and two we had while they were three wide was kind of wild. That was kind of crazy. I definitely did not expect that one, but I think Kylie was a part of that, our points leader. Mikey might actually catch her in points some, if not overtake her from this race, because he's up here in sixth, and she's at least in 11. So that could be a pretty big points uh, gap if uh, they did fall back that far. I just don't know where they're at exactly. I thought she might have been a part of that three wide. Three laps to go here. I am messing up that corner quite bad. That actually felt all right. Kind of tried keeping speed up to that slider on the exit. Got Jeremy Cross catching us down. Who was probably back in 12th before the caution. And then restarted behind us. In this 8th spot, I'm very happy with. If we can hold on to this. is actually behind us too. Wow. I think Schneenkloth and Kylie were on the outside of Jesse Wright. And wait, were we like four or five wide? I know we were definitely four wide. Did I throw it like five wide there and make it work? I need to go back and see that because that was wild. But yeah, we get eighth out of that, hey, man. That's awesome. That was some great points for us. And Kylie fell all the way to 13th. Rough day for them. And uh, sixth place, Mikey Heath gets the win. He's not a full-time driver. Brandon, not a full-time driver. The brother, brother to Cam Jordans I was talking about uh, earlier. Samantha, first full-time driver. Ned, full-time. Mikey full-time, Tommy, and then myself. So I think we were fifth out of the full-time drivers, which is actually pretty wild. I need to go try to find this in the replay for that restart, because that was crazy. So it looks like here that we were three wide. I was on the inside of, who is that? And terrible camera angle. Can we get can we get the camera to change here? That'd be nice. Going back and forth, we'll get the change. But, oh yeah, no, we were, were we almost five wide? I need to change this, like... It's so hard to tell. Okay, now we were four wide. Me, Jesse, Tommy Bailey in the middle, Schneencloth on the outside, and then Kylie behind Schneencloth out there. So we were four wide, but like almost for two rows in a row because 
we all moved up to Schneencloth by the exit, so that was absolutely crazy. But we hooked the bottom so well. I didn't even make contact with Jesse right there, and we were able to just get all the way out in front of him, make a little contact on entry there, move him up, and move to Bailey up all the way to the outside. But they get a huge run out there, get back to my outside, and then they get by us. But that was a crazy, crazy race. That was that was pretty fun. I was happy with that. How much money are we going to get for this one? Because that was a, a pretty solid race for us, too. We are still 11th in the points. Not terrible, but Samantha ended up getting, like, third. So that's going to jump her way up in the points. Did very, very well there. And uh, Kylie still has the points lead by 10 over Mikey. So nothing changes up top. It just gets a little tighter. But uh, we get probably, what, almost $7,000 there? That's a pretty solid day for us so far in the street stocks. I'm happy about that. That's going to put us up near $30,000 in the bank, which is nice. We need like, I don't even know, 60-something, I think, to get that suspension upgrade. So we're just kind of saving for the end of the year, hoping to get that at the end of the season. But getting eighth place, solid, solid run for a showcase nonetheless. Grant Park's a very big track, so we might be able to do well there. And what do we want? This is not that much of a payout difference per race. This is a bigger initial payout. So I'm going to go with that, and then hopefully... The last showcase of the year we will get another uh, initial payout so that's definitely more worth it to me getting that initial payout off the bat and then getting slight bit slight little bit less money but uh, up to 30,000 from that for this suspension we're gonna need oh yeah we're gonna need like almost 70,000 if not more than 70,000 so four races left on the schedule for this season Grant Park Kokomo uh taking Kokomo for the second time Prairie View and Eldora to finish it out which Eldora is gonna be crazy but Eldora is like paying so much more than any other race 12.5 what was that race 9,000 and the other showcase was 8.5 so Eldora is gonna mean a ton at the end of the year trying to make some money if you're fast there but sitting just outside top 10 in points we're what 14 behind Samantha hopefully we can try to catch them Chase Jones Ricky Cox were 20 behind, which is not too bad. We're really only like 20, 24 points behind or 22 points behind seventh place. That's not that big of a jump. And uh, we're running pretty solid. Not too many people have multiple wins. I think Kylie is the only one that has multiple wins on the season. And then who was it? Heath that just got that first win. And then Adam had the other win in the showcase. So Kylie, the only multi winner this season. And that is why they are out front and they've just been consistent other than that last showcase. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Appreciate you guys for watching as always. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.